Welcome to the fifth and final stage of the Saudi tour. There will be another feast for the eyes today as we head from Al Ula Old Town to Mariah, where the winners of this 2023 edition will be celebrated. Ruben Guerrero took control of the race yesterday with his first win for Movistar, but Davide Formolo is just eight seconds back and the Italian is planning to fight all the way to the finish line. Yeah, I'm just eight seconds behind the leader. I'm just one second in front of third place. And also Mila is not so far away if he got the bonus today. So everything's going by second. And uh, when the GC classification is so close, everything can happen also in the gravel section. But we are here ready to fight. Yeah, this race is uh, particularly really open. No? Uh, we have uh, Formula with Drago, also Jonathan Millard is going really strong. It's going for the sprint for sure. The wind is not so strong like the other days, but we have to keep attention. It goes in the breakaway, the, the gravel section, and uh, the gaps at the final, of course. But uh, we try with Max for, for today. Two races in one today then, a sprint for the stage victory and a fight for overall glory. At 142.9 kilometers, this final stage is pretty short, but it won't be straightforward. Just inside the last 40K, the riders will head through an eight kilometer gravel sector as they sweep past the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hegra. The finish is also tricky, with a nasty drag up to the finish line at Mariah. Six riders made it into the breakaway. Kamil Maletsky of Q36.5, Sadi El Dassal of Bingoal, and two riders from Team Coratec, Alessandro Iyaki and Etienne van Empel. The top two in the most active rider classification were also up there, Marcus Hansen and his nearest challenger, Sherman Jaristi. Well, it was the young Dane who proved the strongest at the first two intermediate sprints, mathematically wrapping up the blue jersey for Uno X. The peloton, meanwhile, weren't far back. The sprint team's on the front and keeping the escapees within a couple of minutes. The tussle for the red jersey was also set to play out in today's final sprint, with the top two in the points classification, Jonathan Milan and Dylan Hrunewagen, both going for their second stage victory. The pace really starting to ratchet up as the riders made their way onto the gravel. They had to be extremely wary, not just to avoid punctures, but also to negotiate the many speed bumps. Movistar now setting the pace in the peloton on behalf of Guerrero. The six-man breakaway still plugging away, but their gap was down to 40 seconds as they hit the road once again. Van Empel was the first of the leaders to drop, but the other five were collaborating nicely and they still had 35 seconds with 10k to go. But the peloton decided it was high time to bring them back, upping the pace on the run in to Mariah. Maletsky wasn't going down without a fight though. The pole finally swallowed up inside two kilometers. The sprinters sweeping past Mariah before the final shootout. Here goes Dylan Gronewagen. Gronewagen has found his way to the front. On his wheel is Case Boll, being hunted down by Simone Consoni. It's a drag race between Consoni and Gronewagen. Here goes Simone Consoni, the Olympic track champion. Is it going to be Consoni? Yes, it is. Simone Consoni wins for Team Corfidis. Simone Consoni finishing this Saudi tour on a high note with a brilliant win for Cofidis. The Italian won world and Olympic gold alongside Jonathan Milan in the team pursuit and now he has a third victory on the road after beating some of the best in the business. Really happy about today. Uh, we come here with a strong team and uh, today I finish this incredible week 
with the victory. I'm fast, but uh, against uh, guys like uh, Groenewegen or uh, Milan, the, for me it's impossible to, to get the victory. And yeah, today was made for me and uh, I did it. Consani adding to his wins at the Tour of Slovenia and Paris Shoni to win ahead of another Italian at Matteo Malucelli. Pascal Ackermann was third, with Runewegen slipping to fourth and Milan in tenth. Movistar kept Guerrero out of trouble today, and so the 28-year-old Portuguese rider celebrates his first GC victory. The best climber of the 2020 Giro, winning it by eight seconds from Davide Formolo. No, it's special, it's special. Uh, and this modern cycling is so hard to, to win a, a race. Uh, so to, to the first of the, the, the year is even more difficult. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks to the, the team Movistar, first year, first victory, first race is amazing. Thanks to my family, helped me a lot and uh, I'm really excited and happy. Prunewagen couldn't quite get that second stage win, but the Dutchman does take home the red jersey for the second consecutive year. He finished at six points ahead of Milan. Santiago Buitrago has now finished on the podium of the Saudi Tour in consecutive editions. Second last year, third this year, and he was also the best young rider. Hansen led the most active rider classification from start to finish. He won the blue jersey by two points from Juaristi. And UAE Team Emirates finished as the best team ahead of Movistar and Kofidis. Thanks very much for joining us for the third edition of the Saudi Tour and we'll see you again in 2024.